everybody welcome back to the next video on my channel hi how is everybody doing welcome to my channel first of all if you're new hit the subscribe button so that you never miss you know a chance to connect with me or watch one of my videos also hit the bell icon so that you can always be notified when I go bit like live or do videos because I want you guys in the know I want you guys to see what's going on and just be alert okay so I'm gonna talk about the next thing in my series I have a series on my channel right now going on called being a youtuber on an iPhone. Now I'm going to probably change the name of that to iDevice because I use more than just my iPhone. I do use my iPad. As you can see, when I do Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, I use my iPad to do that. I edit and I record and I just play the game through my iPad and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm all for being able to do a YouTube channel while on an iDevice so that you don't have to worry about having computers or stuff with you. People are always like, I don't have a computer. How am I supposed to do this? Well, I have that solution. Okay, I do. Um, use your iPhone or your phone in your you know pocket. The thing you have in your pocket is the best camera you can have. And... In this part of this video, I want to, to kind of go and talk to you guys about filming. Um, like right now, I'm filming this on my iPhone X. And I want to talk about technically, right now before I even started recording, I put my phone on a girl pod and I set it against the back of this little shelf thing that it's sitting on so that I could sit in front of you guys and talk. Behind you guys, I do have a window up above a little and I have the shade kind of pulled open. So I have the natural lighting because I don't have any lights for, you know, when I make videos and stuff, but I have to find a way to substitute that. So right now, time is of the essence. Um, the lights that I use, technically from the sun or outside is natural lighting and that's the best lighting you could possibly get for your videos. You know, always try to stick with that natural lighting. But um, I also have the AE um, focus on, on my phone so that it's focusing on me. So when I move my hand, because I do move my hands when I talk, you know, it's not refocusing on other things. I could go out of frame or just be turning in my chair to be weird and there's no you know focus moving around shifting to other things it's on me and it's focused and lighting isn't going everywhere <laughs> which is really good and I kind of like that I have this desk and a window because it's actually giving me more ideas to make videos with better lighting and it gives me ideas you know during the daytime but you know th those are a couple of things that I benefit from um, so right now, I'm just gonna talk about phones, like the quality, like camera, because we're gonna just talk about cameras for this video, and this video may not be very long, but we're gonna talk about it and cover it. So, technically, like I said, the best phone you could have is the phone in, or the best camera, I mean, you could have is the one in your pocket, your phone. Use that to the best of your abilities, because that, that is wonders. You know, you can use it like a professional camera. It's HD quality technically. So that means it's gonna be really good. And you know, it's, you know, you don't have to buy a high dollar, you know, camera. I have, let me see if I have it on me and I'm pretty sure I do. Yep, I have it in this bag right here. Let me just open it up. I do have a camera that I bought. Um, it was not expensive really. It was about $100, $150. I have the Canon PowerShot Elf 190IS. Now, I do use my iPhone and my iPad for my videos, but I sometimes will use this. And this I may use as a vlogging camera. Um, it just depends on my preference. Right now, the battery is all charged up and I can be recording. I could hold it out and record me like a vlog style, whatever. I feel comfortable doing that day. It's whatever my body or my mind, I mean, tells me, hey, today let's film on the camera. And if you keep this thing, you know, if it's charred, you can get three days of usage from it, as long as you manage your time with it. I manage my time because I want good film and quality and, 
to have, you know, enough battery. But these have a really good battery to them. And when I travel, I always keep this little bag. It's really cute. It is a mermaid bag. I call it a mermaid because I've seen those pillows that change color. And that's what this technically is. It's a little bag and I'll keep my um, equipment in it, like chargers. I'll keep camera, you know, of course, and batteries. Actually in here, I didn't show you guys this, but I will. I keep a couple of battery uh, chargers, portable batteries, and they're always charged up. I try to charge them up. I'll be going somewhere this weekend, or not week, but this week. Good Lord, not this weekend, but this week. And as you can see, it is charged up and everything. Um, let me get that into focus for you guys. As you can see, it's charged up and all the lights are on. I have another one charging. Let me run and go get that real quick. It's over here on my desk. It has been charging for the past couple days because I hadn't taken it off. So it's fully charged. This is another one. This thing is very small. It's smaller than the other one, but you know, I've got like as you can see here, the lights on this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my bag so that it is ready for tomorrow because I'll be leaving tomorrow. And then I have one more that I'm gonna try to show you guys. It's this really big one and all the lights are on on it. And all I have to do is pull it off the charger tomorrow because I'm not gonna take that off just yet. Sometimes my batteries tend to die faster when I take them off. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, I always keep this little bag of equipment with me so that, you know, if my phone dies or if it's running low, the battery, and I know that I still want to film, I have those batteries with me on hand. I can instantly plug my phone cord into one of those batteries and charge it up and I'll have my phone. And maybe when I'm not using my phone to record because maybe I'm putting it away in the bag to let it charge all the way up before touching it, I may use my Canon, my camera, and you know, I'll get good quality out of that as well. And I have the Canon Connect application on my iPad, so when I get the videos recorded and done, all I have to do is take that product, you know, those clips, and put it together on my editing, you know, like applications that I have in my devices to bring it all together and make one little video for you guys like you always see. And um, those are a couple of the things that I use. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be lighting. I've touched a little in this video, but lighting. When you are recording a video and you're on a budget, say like me, I don't have the money for those expensive lights or the soft boxes, but I do have some lights, you know, at my disposal. For instance, daylight. When it's daylight outside, take advantage of that natural lighting as much as you can. As you can see, I'm recording this video doing just that. Um, it is gonna get dark soon. That's why I decided to record this video now instead of later. Um, if you do have the money to get softbox lights, you know, they work as well too. They give you that natural lighting as what you might be seeing here. And they're really good. I've seen people review them and I've seen examples of them at stores and stuff and I would love to get some, but I just haven't been able to find the right ones that really speak to me in that way to say those are what I want to work with. If that makes any sense to you guys. Um, so, you know, make sure. Take advantage of your natural lighting. Get some good soft box lights. They're really good and, you know, they'll help you out. Um, they have these little gadgets. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it into the video. They have these little gadgets you can put on the end of your phone and it's like a selfie light so that when you're out maybe in the dark or if you just want an extra boost of light, you can use that. Um, you can find several of them for like a dollar or so, plus a couple dollars of shipping on Wish. Very cheap, but very good. I've seen people review them from Wish and they are amazing. I love them. I've considered getting one. I just haven't got one yet, but when I do, I will put up a video pretty much co covering those, talking about it, showing you guys. They're really, really cute and you guys would love them. Um, 
so that's about the lighting. Um, another thing is sound quality, depending on, you know, what you have or what you're doing. Maybe like this, just sitting here talking to you guys using the iPhone, the quality is really good because the mic picks up really well. Or I could take out my lovely, let me grab them here in my pocket. I could take out my lovely AirPods, plug them into my phone, or not plug them, but hook them up through Bluetooth to my phone, and then just instantly have them in my ears, and they give me a mic. They give me a mic right off the bat, and it'll pick up my voice and help you guys. Or even the wired earbuds that you can get, or you know, your headphone, with your phone, you can plug them in. If they got the little mic piece, that's going to boost your sound up too, and it's going to be great. And those are going to benefit you with being on a budget and wanting to make a channel from YouTube. Um, so we've covered lights, we've covered sound, we've covered filming, you know, and those are a couple things that I just wanted to talk to you guys about. Another thing is you can use the front facing camera of your phone or you can use the back. Now the back does have a little bit better quality, but they're kind of almost neck and neck. They're both really good and you can use both. I prefer to use the front facing camera when I record because I can see myself and make sure that my positioning is good. I would be a little afraid to turn it around to the back facing camera because you know, I do have a disability. I am legally blind and I know that doesn't really affect me to where if I turn the camera around, you know, am I going to see myself? The only bad part about it is I won't be able to focus my own camera on myself and I won't be able to see the record button to hit it, you know. So this is the way that works for me and I like it and it just helps and I'm not, I am not complaining whatsoever. However, you want to do it, do it. It's your channel and how you do it. But I want to give you guys some tips that would probably benefit you or help you with your channel. So, now that we've covered lights, sounds, cameras, positioning, angles, I do use, like I said, a grow pod, and I will insert a picture of my grow pod so you guys can see it. And then I also have, let me grab it. I also have this 60 inch tripod. It is super light and very well put together and it's, it's it's just like I said it's very light and it's a good tripod and it can get really tall I used this for a video earlier today that I recorded um, and put together and it was a lot of fun and you know once I learned my style of how I like to angle the tripod or put my phone it's really easy and simple and I use this to live stream as well because as you guys can see the top here I'm standing this right here so you can see it hopefully as you guys see the top this part right here can go up and down I have this three fingers or three hands with a part but it can go up and down which is really awesome and then I can be recording or I mean live streaming in horizontal mode or I can slip it like this and live stream in vertical mode portrait which is really good to have I've had an old tripod that I used for a while and it was good. It wasn't my favorite, but now that I found this one, it is so light, so portable. They did not give me a baggie with it, but it's just light and portable and does everything I need. And even that extra feature of just being able to live stream like this is amazing. So that's why, you know, getting a tripod or something will help as well. And this was only $14. The one I got before, it was 30 something. The tripod I had before that one was 30 something dollars. And I'm telling you, when I got that tripod, I honestly thought it was going to be the best tripod. And if I were to have gotten the one I just showed you at the same time, I would have told you, probably thought at first that the um, $30 one was better. But you know what? That tripod broke in so many places. The top part where the phone would sit broke and a part came out the bottom of it and it was just, it fell apart. It was hanging on by tape by the time I threw it away. And the one I just showed you is so light and portable but yet so durable 
I would consider getting a $14 tripod over a $30 something dollar tripod. It's really good quality. But that's coming from me and just giving you guys a little bit of a, a tip and just some, you know, pointers because that's all I want to do is give you guys pointers. So that pretty much covers it as well. Also, when you are recording a video like I am now, a big thing for you guys to note, okay? Do not record. Let me see if I have my iPod in here to show you guys an example. Yes, I do. Okay, so when you have your phone or something, do not record like this. Do not record in vertical mode. Portrait. Portrait mode. As people would call it when they take pictures. Don't record in portrait mode. Please don't. If you do, you'll create something similar to where instead of seeing the whole thing, you got these black bars on both sides of my face or where I'm streaming or I mean, you know, recording. Record like this. I usually record in landscape mode and it gets everything that I want to be seen. So that is a big pointer right there. Always record in landscape mode. Some people do record in portrait mode and there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want people to stick around to your videos, please record in landscape. Nobody wants to see those black bars all the time in a compressed picture because it's just, it's so condensed and so small of a space. They're like, this is just, no. I can't see the whole thing in landscape. I would rather not watch this. Um, but you know, there's some things that's it's exceptional. It's okay to do it. And then others, you know, always record in landscape, okay? When you're recording a video for YouTube, always record in landscape. So that now we record, like now that we have went over lights, sound, filming thing, like different things you can use that are on a budget, um, tripods, grill pods. I also have this one thing for my iPad. Let me see if I can grab it without knocking anything off. I probably can't. It is stuck. I also have this from Walmart that I bought. I think it was like 20 something dollars. I don't remember. It's not that expensive, but it may be actually cheaper than that. It is like a stand for my iPad. So similar to like a tripod or a grill pod, I mean, whatever. But on the bottom here, it has this giant suction cup that I can suction my iPad to my window. And it could be up in my window and I could have the iPod, iPad in it and it can be recording down at me. I could probably get a better angle that way. I don't know, but these things are inexpensive. They're not expensive at all and they're fun. You can use them in a car. I may be taking this with me when we go tomorrow so that I can record in the car or watch videos or whatever on my iPad and not have to hold it. These things are so cheap, they are not expensive at all. And that's another piece of equipment that you can use. So now that, like I said, and I'm sorry that I keep adding on, but I wanna educate you guys and give you some ideas. Um, now that I went over equipment, uh, filming equipment, lights and sound, and just some tips, that is going to wrap it up for this little video of overall of like things you can use and things that could help you and just tips. But I think next time we come with another video, I will probably be doing a video because I've already released my intros, how to make intros videos, or just little tips for that. I think the next thing we'll be recovering, you know, covering is how I set things up. How would it look if I put my tripod, how tall would it be, how would I angle it? And that may be actually recorded with my Canon camera so that I can show you full on with the iPhone in place of how I can film and do everything that I do. So with that being said, so that this, this video doesn't turn to be so many minutes long, thank you guys so much for watching. As I say once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Slap a like on this video and hit that bell icon so you never miss another upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.